Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about an on-screen volume control. Basically, if you have a volume up and volume down key on your keyboard and you press that and nothing happens but it changes the volume on the, on the actual computer, it may be possible for you to get an on-screen volume control showing you a visible version. Now, this trick, well, this is a trick, but basically what happens is we're taking it f taking two files from Windows Media Center edition and we're putting them on Windows XP now if I just should give you a test here this is a random song and you can see it's not playing anything if I use the volume up key it's turning up and down but there's no volume control here so there was a solution posted on a website uh, I just did a Google for what the file I needed, and this one came up, and it says on-screen volume control meter for HP and compact laptops. So this will work with laptops as well, and I just needed it for the download. So I will post the link to this site, and you can download the file using the Mega Upload link if you want to try that. And basically, you end up downloading a file called ehtray.ra. So you unra it, sorry, extract it, whichever you want to say. And you'll be given two files. We won't worry about the README because that applies to something else. Or it may have the instructions in, but I'm, I haven't um, looked at it. So, ehtrade.exe, which is the program that's run, and ehres.dll. So, what do we want to do with these files? Well, we go to start and run, and we type in C Windows E Home. C is your root drive. You may have may have Windows installed on drive D or E or something, but you just want to type this in, press OK, and if you have XP Primal Home, you'll probably have something like that. Just one file in here, nothing else. So what we want to do is copy these two files into this EH Home or eHome directory. Now, really, this program we want to have start a startup, so we make a shortcut of it. We'll call it on-screen volume press enter, I'm going to drag this onto the start menu, all programs, and if I can find it, start up. So there, I've just put it on my startup, so now, uh, if I run ehtray, I should be able to have volume up and volume down on my computer. So we'll double click this, nothing happens, which is good if you're starting up, because then you won't notice it starting. Uh, we'll play the music again. And we already are playing the music. We'll go on to the next track, shall we? Oh, either way. Um, you then press volume up, and you'll notice the volume's going up, and I have a volume progress bar. So this is handy if you need a visual, if you're visually impaired or anything, and you need to see what state your volume is at, because if you don't, you have to keep going into here, double-clicking that, and then using volume up and volume down keys to see. So this is just an easy way to do it. It's taken from Media Windows Media Center Edition, and all you do is create a shortcut to it, have it run at startup, and hopefully you be able to have an on-screen indicator. So yeah, I'll just say that it may not work with all your all the PCs because initially when I had a laptop with Media Center on, and I asked about it when I switched to Windows Vista because that doesn't do it. Um, they said, oh, it's, uh, it, com it comes with your keyboard, or something like that. But it is actually these two programs from Media Center. You may be able to get this to work in Windows Vista. If you do, then let me know, because that will be quite handy to, to know. But it should work with all PCs, should work with all PCs, but possibly won't, so don't quote me on that. Um, and if you have a volume up and volume down on your keyboard, or in fact a mute, I think it comes down right in the bottom right corner. There you go. If you mute it, it actually tells you if it's muted. Um, so hopefully it will work with your PC. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, let me know. And if it does work, also let me know. And I'll provide the uh, link to the forum, which has got the download link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if this works for you, then you know, rate me five or something. If it doesn't, then feel free to rate me one. Rates make all the difference for me. So. And if you like my videos, then please subscribe and comment. Thank you.